Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 29. So this is actually an update to uh, previous videos that I've done in previous challenge based upon actually a request from an agent that came in overnight. Um, I typically don't do requests, but on, honestly, I could see how this uh, is a very important video, and that is how to create a landing page for a sign-in for an open house. Um, and honestly, thinking about it this morning, I can see this being used, continue to be used for personal, in-person open houses, but also for virtual open houses, having your clients or just uh, possible customers sign in to register for that virtual open house that you might be holding. And so in order to create a landing page for an open house sign-in, we're gonna come down to the consumer applet here on the left-hand side. And we want to create a landing page and we do that by coming to create a new site and we're going to do it as a standalone landing page so we're going to click on that second option and then click on create page from here you can see we now have the ability to start adding what are called widgets so these 10 blocks represent widgets that we can add to this page the first one that i always recommend is bringing in your branded header doesn't take up a ton of space, but it definitely identifies that this is, you know, you and a Keller Williams site and kind of brings validity. Uh, second, because you want them to register and you want it to be easily seen, I would bring in the lead form. And then finally, I would bring in the listing because you want to give them some information about listings. Now, if you wanted to, you could bring in a number of other different, um, you know, widgets here if you wanted. But to keep it simple, we're just going to do these three for now. We want to make sure that we name our landing page. So in this case, we would just remove this and we'd say 4406 Center Street. Let me get rid of all of that. Uh, open house sign in. So there we go. Now we have named the page. Now that we have our three widgets in, the next thing we need to do is configure them. We do that by clicking on this button at the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to click on configure widgets. It's going to show me the three widgets that I have brought in and I need to go ahead and configure those. So if the check mark is green, it means that it's not necessarily needed to be configured, although you still can. I could move forward with this form as is and not have an issue. However, the branded header, I have to put in an actual title for it. And then of course I have to choose the actual listing. That's why those two check marks are not green. So let's click on branded header and you can see required is header text and there is no header text. So I can say, welcome to 4406 Center Street. I could say, um, you know, virtual open house sign in. You just have to be careful because obviously you're limited to 30 characters. Um, so it could be, um, you know, 4406 uh, Center Street open house. And I'm gonna run out of characters, right? I was gonna try and do open house sign in. So Center Street registration, that would fit. So again, you gotta be creative about what this looks like. Um, and then uh, you can make sure your headshot name, phone number, I'm particular about my phone number. I just like dashes, that's just me. And then my team logo, okay, everything looks good there. I would click on save and apply. And again, now you can see that the header text has shown up. Uh, next, and I'm gonna put in a period there just cause I'm a high C, that's how I like my things to look. Now that I have that widget done, I'm going to click on this arrow at the top where it says one of three. I want to go to number two, which becomes the lead form. And I'll put here, right, please register for the virtual open house link. So now they can see why am I putting this information in? It's because I'm gonna send you the link to the open house once you actually register. If I was doing it in person, it could just say, please register for the open house or anything that you want for that text to be listed in. You can customize that however you uh, see fit. Next, we're gonna click on the right hand arrow to go to the third widget and that's the actual listing. This is not the listing that we're advertising. So you can see, I would click on browse listing. I would come in then and search for my listing. Center Street. There's my listing, I would click on select. And you can see that this is the lead photo. By default, it goes off the lead photo that's in your listing and you can go in and change that or you can actually bring in a custom image if you chose to. I like the lead photo, so I'm gonna click on save and apply. 
and you can see now it has right the lead photo for our listing all the information about this property all pulled in from the mls with a photo carousel additional details and a map at this point i'm pretty much done so i can click on save and apply i'm going to save my landing page and i want to save it and then i'm going to go back in. you can see because i saved it and didn't publish it all i have to do is click on these three little dots edit and now i can publish the page in the top right hand corner are you sure you want to make sure this love uh, visible and i'll say yes and then boom there you go now my landing page is visible so I could send out this link. I could also use a link shortener if I wanted to. Uh, Keller Williams has one that I can use. It, it shortens it somewhat, just not completely, right? So this part has to remain. You can see all I can do is the last half. So I could come in and just say, uh, yeah, I do want to delete this. Uh, let's get rid of all of that mess. 4406 Center Street Open House. So I could create that as the link. Now it's a little more recognizable, but I could also use Bitly or Link Shortener or anything else along those lines. Uh, once I click on this link, you'll see that this is the actual page. And when someone came in, right, and said uh, command challenge test and command challenge test at gmail.com and they're gonna put in a phone number. and test they're going to click i'm not a robot and then send that over and then it'll say thank you your information has been submitted in command i should start getting alerts that somebody has filled out my form there you go the bell got red it says lead form notification lead info captured i can click on the white text there and see here is that new contact that just came in they came in from a kw landing page and then i can see the information that they utilized so that is how you would build out a open house sign-in. If you were at an actual open house and you had your tablet, your Surface, whatever, you had Wi-Fi, you could just hand that to the person walking in and ask them to fill it out live right there on your link. Or if you were doing a virtual open house, you could send everybody this link in order to register. And then that way when they register, you could then email them the video or email them your um, you know, Facebook or whatever, you know, however you're gonna do the actual um, tour of the house. So that's it for today, guys. Day 29. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Tuesday. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time.